Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're all welcome to the amazing football true or false live trivia show. My name is Mariana, and tonight I'm here to test your football knowledge. The best part about this trivia show is that it's completely free to play. All you have to do to participate is to be here. We've got 10 statements lined up, each of the true or false options. You will receive 100 points for every single correct answer. So, collect at least 700 points and you will be the one sharing our amazing prize pool. $2,000 in cash or golden chips. Are you ready? Are you excited? Let me know. Let's get started. Statement number one goes like this. Diego Simeone has been coaching Atletico Madrid since 2011. Diego Simeone has been coaching Atletico Madrid since 2011. Hope you have made your decisions. Correct answer is true. Simeone has been in charge of Atletico for almost 13 years. Can you imagine that? Statement number two. Simeone never played for Atletico Madrid. Two answers to choose from. Please go for the one you think is correct. Hope you have made your decisions as action time is over and your answers are locked in. So, the correct one is false. Simeone played 97 matches for the club and even scored 21 goals. Amazing, did you know that? Statement number three. The football club Hamburg, currently playing in the second Bundesliga, was the German champion six times. Football club Hamburg. You're welcome to share your decisions with me. Is it true or false? Let's take a look. I can see both answers in a chat, so I would like to let you know that the correct answer is true. In the 2024-25 season, Hamburg remains in the second Bundesliga. Great, number four. One of Hamburg's main rivals, St. Pauli, has been the German champion only once. Are you ready to see the correct answer? Let's take a look at it. It's gonna be false. St. Pauli is a very modest club and has never been the German champion. Remember, you receive 100 points for every single correct answer. Statement number five. Juventus is the oldest club in Italy. Juventus. You know, last year I went to a football game in Italy, Rome, and I saw Juventus playing against Lazio. The game was intense and it was a nice, nice experience. Correct answer is false because the oldest club in Italy is Genoa. All right, yeah, Rome. Statement number six. Derby della Laterna is the name of the Genoese derby in which Genoa plays. Have you got any ideas, any thoughts of what could be the correct answer? Remember to share the prize pool. What you need to do is to collect at least 700 points. Good luck with that. Correct answer is true. The Lantern Derby is a match between Genoa and Sampdoria. Great. Statement number seven. We are about to be on a finish line. Wishing you all the best of luck. The record for the most goals in one season of the English Premier League belongs to Aguero. Records for the most goals in one season of the English Premier League belongs to who? Aguero? Let's take a look. It's false because the record belongs to Haaland, who scored 36 goals. 36 goals, can you imagine that? 
36 goals. That's a lot. State team number eight. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is 1.85 meters tall. One point five, one point eighty five meters tall. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Let's see what we have. Correct answer is false. Why? Because actually, Ibrahimovic is one point ninety five meters tall. Great. Two statements to go. You still get a chance to collect two hundred points. Good luck with that. Roberto Baggio is the only Italian player who missed his penalty in the 1994 World Cup final against Brazil. Hope you have made your decisions. Action time flew by very fast. And your answers are locked in. So the correct one is false. Of the five Italian players, only two scored, three missed, one of whom was Baggio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the final statement, number 10. In the semi-final of the same 1994 World Cup, Italy beat uh, Bulgaria 2-1 with the both goals scored by Roberto Baggio. Didn't want to trust Justin Bieber, huh? What are we talking about? Correct answer is true, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations goes to all the winners. We just went through 10 statements. Thank you very much for playing, winning and participating. I really hope that you're all happy and satisfied with the outcome of this trivia show. If you're still wondering of what to do on this uh, Friday night, you're welcome to join my colleagues at the Football Live Roulette. Have an amazing time there. Enjoy the Friday. Enjoy the weekend. And I hope to see you in future trivia shows. Bye.